All right, so here we are with the Gentleman Janitor GJ5C Stoker. We're about done doing feed rate tests. We ended up running a two inch pulley on here rather than the original, I think it was three and a quarter inch split pulley that was on it. And we went, we went lower there after we had switched to a three and a half inch split pulley on the gearbox here. This is actually the pulley that came on the stoker that was with this boiler. So I guess they were geared down a little bit than what this new old stock stoker had because the new old stock stoker had a three and a quarter inch on it. But anyway, we got it down to, with this setup, I believe we are two turns out on this with the two inch pulley and we're at eight pounds per hour with rice coal. So that's, that, that's our target. And if we want to go up from there, we can always uh, swap this pulley out with the other one or crank it out a little more. But yeah, we should be able to achieve in the eight to 10 pound adjustability range, which is about where we want to be. Uh, I vacuumed out the pot and everything and got that ready to go. And while we were doing that, I, I was unsure what to do about the, the clean out cover. Since the other ones that I've had either have two bolts or four bolts, this one just slides in like that. So, and it was very rattly. It didn't seal, so you would lose draft through it and everything, and I didn't really want that. So what I did was drill the hole in it, put a bolt through it to make a handle so I could pick it up, and I siliconed some stove gasket on there, some flat gasket, so it actually seals. So that should be no problem and should be real easy to take off and clean out the fly ash when you have to. Uh, another area we had to work on a little bit was, I'm not sure how they seal the, uh, the pipe, the feed pipe here. I haven't seen anything in the manual. I mean, it's possible they just put furnace cement around it originally, which isn't great for when you have to take the pipe out. So I just took another piece of flat gasket and a couple of hose clamps and stuck it half on the hose clamps and pushed it up against there so that should seal pretty good good enough so that's that end ready to go we're ready for the bin pipe to get stuck on there and here's where we are with the bin pipe the uh, knuckle joint is bolted on there anti-seized sealed with silicone I cut this it's a old piece of two inch schedule 40 pipe. Uh, the manual, well, the manual for a different gentleman, Jennifer Stoker than these says, you want about six inches sticking out here or less, more than six inches is too much. So, so I was thinking, you know, one flight and a half Then what I was running was actually about a flight or so. So I decided to go with the black iron and I cut it so that I actually have eh, a shade more than two flights sticking out. So that's, that's actually about four inches or so. So not quite six, but that should be plenty. This is kind of what it, this is my spare pot auger, bin auger, drive system. And this big square drive is where it couples to the gearbox gearbox so all that goes straight in that way and out the other side and it's got a coupler right here that they want you to have no more than 10 degrees of drop on the bin auger 
and when we did our feed rate tests, we were at 8 degrees, so we should be pretty good to go. Uh, the next thing, probably what we're, we need to do is get the boiler on top of the base. Well, there you go. Boiler's all set down in place there. Silicone gooped to the base. And the, the ash diverter, or the fly ash trap is sealed. You know, the, the back boiler wall here. Also sealed up the edge of the uh, fire door. Well, there it all is in there. <laughs> now it won't be easy to work on anymore, so we got to hope everything's right. <clears throat> Well, so it's October 28th now. We plan on firing this up out here in the garage. Probably mid-December or so. So we got a uh, month and a half to get the, the pipes plumbed in and the stove pipe on it and uh, fire it up. Should be fun. Hopefully, uh, we don't have any problems with it. I don't think we will, but you never know. We got to get a few things for it, like you get a new PRV. And we might need a couple of black iron parts. We're going to do a... This is one inch coming out the top here, so we're going to come out into a T. Do a one inch bypass over to that return port there. This return port will go to the return of the house. And from there, from, from the bypass T, we'll come up and go over to the supply to the house, which is this valve here. That's the pump for the house there. That's the PEX that goes to the house. So, should be fun. More later. 